well 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 guys welcome back now your boy believes Adam's link as usual uh please try as much as possible to support me like this video comment share it on ocean platform uh follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam's link and make sure you subscribe and uh click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload also good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from and don't forget baraka the seller we are still celebrating seller guys uh firstly guys uh let's talk about relationship sex and uh this is what a, a very well-known Nigeria socialite, Shade Ladipo, wrote. She said, You see that thing when you try to shame a woman by saying, You win the f, f so, so, and so. Yeah, it's old. Ladies, there's no shame in how many people you have slept with. Ladies, there is no shame with how many people you have slept with. Sex shaming, especially when done to women, is older than me to sell her. Ladies, please hold us head high. Now have you have. You no know, do chidima. So apparently, not even apparently, according to her, she said, there is no shame in how many people you have slept with, ladies. That means she'll go home and sleep with the entire village. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> relationship or people people giving advices on on social media like are they kind of like angel like uh, agent of devil i don't understand how can you say there's no shame in how on in how many people you have slept with so if gay just the f f f f everybody so you want her to continue effing everyone saying there's no shame even guy as well People guys nowadays they shame. I I do not want to if I if I sometimes see a guy who is so proud of I slept with this, I slept with that. I'm like, ah, you know the shame. Talk more of a woman. Well guys, I kinda leave your comment below and uh stay on this uh, topic. Here is what our pastor he called himself Pastor Beloved. This is what he wrote about sex before marriage itself was created by god and in the beginning of creation god started with grace before the devil came and sowed the seed of this god between man and god and then since then men were sold into the market of religion into the market of slavery and as you can see that god designed that he created to be enjoyed it means that itself it's a gift from god it is not a bad thing. It is not the wrong thing. It is a gift from God. And then let us look at the word sin. Sin died on the cross. By the time Jesus Christ died on the cross, he died for sin once and for all. This is, this is, this is why I said this, this discussion is for those who are under grace. He died for sin once and for all. He nailed sin to the cross and that was, that was all about, about the finished works of Christ. He nailed sin. That means that he said because of this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that it might destroy the works of the devil. That is, it destroyed the works of the devil. What was the works of the devil? Sin was the works of the devil. The religion was the works of the devil. It, 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 it eliminated it completely. It destroyed it completely. And this is what we are, we are talking about here. So if sin has been eliminated on the cross, if the power of sin has been destroyed on the cross, then why do we not hear why are we still having a mad mindset of sin that has already been destroyed instead of renewing our mind in the understanding of what Jesus has done? If sin has been destroyed, then that means that this formality that people call sin is no longer a sin because of what Jesus has done on the cross. Sin has died, and, and so there is no sin anymore because before God. Jesus has become that Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. He taketh it away completely so that people can live in a life of liberty and a life of grace. This is one of the most manipulative person I have seen in 2021. Ha! <laughs> yeah. I bet you uh, this is one of the things people are confusing using to justify their sinful way because they think jesus christ died for their sins and there thereafter they cannot sin anymore even though they commit sin 
you are confusing yourself if you think that way. And you would be so disappointed that on that day, the kind of hell may they wait for you eh? if they hurt past anything. I'm just being plain though. It's not as if I'm trying to... Who is that? It's not as if I'm trying to be insulted or anything. How can a pastor say that there's no sin? That means if I just go out there and start carrying a gun and shooting everyone down, it's not a sin. Ritualism, not a sin. Defrauding people, not a sin. Looting, not a sin. Rape, not a sin. So many atrocities, no sin. So why are we living in the world? So enjoy ourselves and let us go. Man. And people will still listen to him. People will still go to him, goes to his church. Just imagine the kind of wickedness we surround this pastor. Ha! I'm not particularly about the sex. No, 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 no. I'm about the sin aspect. Well, uh, kindly leave a comment below, guys, because my head don't tear for this uh, pastor talk. And uh, also, here is what a uh, lady wrote. Still on bowling on this uh, re on this relationship of uh, matter. Brandy said, I personally think if you are taking a girl out on a date, you should buy her outfit, pay for her makeup as well. Well, good luck, Brandy. And uh, since your boyfriend is doing that, good luck to you. <laughs> Don't try it. If you're in Nigeria, see, guys, the funny thing is that ladies actually see this kind of advice and take it they don't take the good advice they take this kind of advices then by no pressuring their date a man a suitor who wants them pressuring them to do what they cannot do meanwhile those uh, those guys who does who just want to use them just for the moment we'll be willing to buy you an outfit an outfit to make up or bet after that find a way to knock you very well and leave you and then you will come online and say oh men are trash well uh, guys let's talk about obi kumbana he recently had an uh had an interview with bbc pigeon uh, and he said that it's not a ritualist it's not a courtist it's not uh into any kind of uh 419 yao yao boy anyway that uh being a ritualist cannot give you the kind of money that he has and they also say a lot of things that the only thing that you can, you, he actually talk his own life story, little of his life story, uh, how he made his millions. And they also talk about working very, very hard. But you already know Nigerians, some will believe and some will not believe. That is why sometimes it's just better if you just keep quiet. If you are doing the legit work, continue doing the legit work. Don't even mind public opinion. If you are not doing the legit work, continue as well. <coughs> continue as well and don't mind the public opinion. Sorry. And uh, after that interview, check out what a very well-known Nigeria uh, broadcaster, Osh uh, Oseni, said about Obi Kubana. Our nation has become all about money. All about materialism all about showing people that you are rich and others that are poor they can go and die in the spirit of charity and throwing money to them on the floor for them to come pick it up and please i'm seeing a lot of arguments this is not to denigrate a particular tribe i have strong respect for Igbos because a lot of people are saying why is that when Igbos do something and they spray money people are shouting that yorubas do the same it's not a case of yoruba and Igbo. It's a case of calling a spade a spade. What is wrong is wrong. We can't build a society this way. Because what you've told a lot of young stars growing up is that they too must make money and spray this way. We are celebrating and entrenching a culture of materialism in society. Then society will lose its moral compass. I'm not saying don't bury your parents and commiserations to Hobi Kubana on the loss of his mother. But there's a decent way of doing things in society. Just for the record, same on Friday. The who is who in this country were at Ike Mokwede's mother's burial. We didn't see Naira being flunked. I saw that is what he said. 
well kindly leave a comment below i know a lot of people will still not agree with him though and that everybody now are just entitled to their own opinion this one is coming from Bimi Niger Tochi. He said, All the billionaires you know today pay close attention to their wives. They are strong, intelligent, and supportive. Women that pay less attention to social media, we can't do it all on our own. Men, we always need a touch of feminine excellence for steady progress. I wholeheartedly uh, support him. And also, actress praise. Is bashing Hollywood over this, uh, this, over this claim that Igbo boys usually do ritual. He said, "A letter to my Nollywood, dear Nollywood, how are you? Hope you are doing great. A quick one, please. Can we glorify hardworking part of Igbo men in our movie instead of ritual all the time? I mean." People are begin, beginning to see it, a, it as a norm. And if you really want to look into it here, Igbo men in Nigeria are the most hardworking men. Yes, I said that. I said what I said with my full chest. Even the ladies. Let me take you back to the comment about the Oba celebration of life. The comment section was filled with a lot of negativity. Whoa. So an Igbo man can't make clean money, money again. I don't understand it. I have stayed in this mind of them. They talk about business 80% of all their lives. Always very calculated. I mean, we in Hollywood are ministers too. We preach through our movies and, and get into the minds of people. So I beckon on our writers to please showcase more of real clean growth story not just for the Igbo men but especially for them because we kinda gave them this look through our movie please i am not dating any Igbo manu just saying the bitter truth they work very hard and that's part of them De uh, deserve clarity thank god of course Igbo people work very hard and I think no matter how you try as much as possible to paint it, uh, every little thing you do in the society, as long as you are popular, definitely have impact, negatively or positively. That is just how I will rest my case concerning this uh, Ubi Kubada's uh, 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 barrier. And meanwhile, he's chopping his life though. And Negi, Bibi Nigeria, former uh, Negi, for my baby Niger housemate, just recently bought herself a Range Rover. I know someone will start saying, Oh, now man, buy him. Or how come? Why is she buying it? Well, do not say that, guys, because these ladies are fully paid. They are a bunch of endorsement. I know you will, st you will still doubt any woman that is successful in Nigeria entertainment space. You will still doubt, no matter how they try as much as possible to. No, clarify it uh, to you. You will still have that doubt. And uh, speaking of four one now, yeah, it's uh, three Nigerians who were recently arrested in USA. It's a one point four COVID benefit fraud. Fraud. FBI uses ATM cameras to arrest three Nigerians. Three Nigerians are being arrested in USA for engaging in more than one point four million about 580 million job jobless benefit of the state of arizona california north carolina and maryland the suspect kazim ayedoji junata and olamide who allegedly uh, filed unemployment uh, more than 200 times from the first state where arrested after being caught they arrested after being caught by the security cameras of the automated teller machine nigeria abroad report that the theory were caught in connection with pandemic unemployment benefit fraud as they use to address addresses and uh adeyenka and sangudi are currently the resident of one of the address bank of america Records show that 165 prepaid card worth more than 1.4 million total 
158,000 US dollar of which came from Maryland were sent to the suspect address. How can you be scammy and still be using your address? Well, uh, that is how the cash tips do. Well, another name going down for Nigeria. And uh, of course, guys, uh, for those of you who think that you are under pressure to make money, that time is going, you no know, time is so, so going fast. Please take it down, take it slow, just relax. Me, myself, I also have this kind of pressure on myself as well. Sometimes I just think that the time is not like money is not flowing in and time is going, time is going. Please take it really, really slow. You only have one life to live. Yeah, take it slow. This guy, a, an, an octo, he said, for what is what? I was 53 when I got a PhD. I was 51 when I started my dream job. I was 54 when I married the love of my life. I was 55 when I ran my first marathon. I was 67 when I self-published my first book. I turned 17 next year and I can't wait. So if you are thinking it's not happening fast enough for you, hey, maybe you are just a late bloomer like me. You see, relax, my brother. Relax. You are 20 years old, you think. That's exactly what Obi Kubana said in this uh, interview. That you are 20 years old, you are 30 years old, you are pressuring yourself. Start small, small, small. You will get there. Start small, small. Don't allow any woman to pressure you if you are a guy. And don't allow any man to pressure you as a woman. Just start something. Start something now. No matter how small, even, well, you know when people say small, they don't say where the money made they go start that small when you the talk. <laughs> that is what they usually say. Well, guys, uh, let me leave that. Well, Tiwa Savage recently lost her dad. May he so continue to rest in peace. I would have reported this the other day, but uh, you know, one to one, one thing led to the other, and I did report it. Well, T T Wasabi said early hours of this morning, not today, that is about day before yesterday. This morning, you made a peaceful transition. You fought till the very end. You really fought, Daddy. It's been rough for you this past couple years, but you are resting now. This is tough on me. I am numb, so weak. Rest in perfect peace, my king. I love you, Daddy. That is coming from T Wasabi to to her dad and uh meanwhile talking about relationship run town and uh, his girlfriend are no longer together that model very uh, a very uh cute black beauty girl they are no longer together well that time uh, we even thought that run town is gonna marry this girl because the way they were all over the place but uh it seems like run time just one chop me around go another place and uh here is a very funny one this guy is a cab man cab man he said see eh, people who book pre appointment and request ride afterwards please i beg you try to clean up at least don't enter my car smelly like used condoms and don't talk to me with your mouth having a Punani smell, yeah. Let me call it Punani. Clean that F up. Yes, I'm talking to guys and girls. One entered my cars some months ago, smelling like used condom and cum. Another one entered today and it was as if it just finished giving head. I had to wear my mask. <laughs> I had to wear my face mask throughout the journey. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> According to it, they say uh, Bishop Ama, friend of to Obi Kubana, spent all his money at the burial in Oba, Anabra State. He was left with nothing to pay the hooker he carried for the night. They both agreed on 200k and she left Oba to follow him to Asaba, Delta State. This morning, he paid her 50k instead of 200k, which led to a serious argument in the hotel. The police had to intervene. <laughs> 200k for night. Ha! You know the charge, oh. 
But apart from that, guys, if that was your agreement, can you provide paper? Because I don't understand why you go to call police. Let's be frank. Can you provide papers that yes? And you girls, if you had an initial agreement, eh? If you know you're not going to F up, that can't be big, big transaction. At least collect part payment now before you now embark on the transaction. And also, I believe nowadays, just to not to fight with your client, make sure you have each other exchange text messages complying on the payment so that also the client will also have his own right as well because he might want you to do some certain stuff he will ask you through the chat and if you agreed you will also answer him back so that when things go sour you guys can both provide evidence because i've seen people when they are inviting workers around they do vividly hacks on their chat i hope say your punani know the smell i hope say your punani the sweet all those kind of questions and the hooker will also reply, ah, I don't get any smelly punani now. So, when you guys knock and the guy find out that your punani is smell, he will have evidence to say, see, I tell this guy, say, me no bring, me no bring smelly punani, come give me all. So, see the evidence, because of that, I'm not paying. So, each other right, you know, you guys should have some certain kind of right. Written right. And meanwhile, guys, I thank you very much for watching support again. I'm Slink. Have a wonderful day.